Hello and welcome back to Azales TV and part 3 of my wooden electromechanical clock project. Let's get into it. So what have I been up to this past week? Well I've been pretty busy cutting out these nice bits of wood. I've got a few scraps but these are some nice looking parts. I mean I've got this going on so I might as well do something with it. I've taken a lot of this to the woodworking group I go to to use their scroll saw and the first time using a scroll saw, yeah that's pretty interesting. I couldn't get as nice and clean the cut as I wanted to, trying to get around the corners was, eh, it was a learning curve. But I've got some nice parts, I need to finish them, I need to sand the inside of these, remove the rough bits there. There's a few gnarly bits I don't particularly like but it works, I'm going to cut the teeth out by hand with a jeweler saw because I don't really trust anything that I can't really 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 control down to a fine point but I'll use the scroll saw for the middle of these so one of the next jobs will be to drill through these drill through that just as much as I can and then take that in tomorrow to buzz out the holes of those so then I can cut out the teeth I've also got this the support for the cogs which goes on that side uh, there holds all these gears in place so next I'll be drilling out so I'll drill out a few of these for now and then come back and then do these the other thing I made was the Geneva mechanism this is the first go at it I wasn't really impressed because I cut it out quite accurately but when I mounted it on the test bed it didn't mesh quite properly and what would happen was as I was turning it this would end up jammed down there and that would happen and it would just and yeah no good so I marked that for scrap also this peg was quite big so it didn't quite fit in here I was making it bigger which affected the whole thing so made a new one got a test bed going on and it works a lot better what I've actually done I've cut probably just about to see that I've cut a little relief on there so as this comes around if it's not quite lined up like if it's there it will capture it but yeah actually it works I'll put this here to apply a little bit of friction on the gear itself so as the draft comes around and engages it won't pull around prematurely and so far no failures when I put it in the clock I'll have a proper slipping clutch thing this mechanism which I got out of the same video cassette recorder that got all the pegs and stuff out of so this part of it that will slip round and it's quite a bit of friction there which is good so that will be attached to the crank with the servos this will go around clockwise that goes around anti-clockwise so it turns the great wheel which will be attached to a pinion so it will be like this But this is just a test bed, um, these are just held on like that. So that's the exact spacing I need for the clock. So I can measure from that with the calipers, or I can push this into the wood like that and push down. And I get a mark and I've got the spacing that's proper for that gear. Perfect. Finished the old pre-drilling, now to drill out half ah, and half and half. Now do I need two entry points in each bit? No, but I've got it, I've got the room, so I might as well use it, and I can spin, spin the saw around in there and get back on the waves and get right in the corners and stuff, so, sweet. Now for, ho oh. ho
Looking good so far. All right. That's going to be fun. That's going to be really fun. Oh boy, I'm going to do that by hand. I'm not going to do it on a skull saw at uh, the unit. Just getting that wrong on the skull saw is going to scare the bejesus out of me. There we go, beautiful. I've probably missed one at the intersections. Leave a comment. And just like that, it is the next day. And I've reduced several square feet of plywood down into all this scrap. As well as all this good work I've been doing. Mind you, a lot of the scrap isn't scrap, I can still use it for other things. All the little tiny little bits will be supports for things like this. So it'll go over the wheel like this. And all the gears will go there, and this other bit will go over here like that. And oh, it'll be amazing. But, first, as you can see, I've cut out the majority of that gear. Got a bit of tidying to do on the back. Slight amount of tear out, not much. I've cut this completely, and that one. I've got these two gears, different sizes because again you need the different gear ratios. You need one that's one to three ratio and one that's one to four ratio to give you one to twelve ratio. When they're stacked on top of each other like this for the hands. So this one meshes with this. drawing pins just pushed through these drill holes they're not a snug fit they're actually very loose and they're barely long enough but they're enough for engaging these gears so I put the idler gear on oh look at that first go I thought that would take ages to put on and this one there we go and Oh, this is fiddly. Uh, fiddly sorry. Let's cut out the rest of his teeth, but that's working well. So I've done that. I've cut out this section, so that's the support for this. I've got rid of this way around. A bit of mark on the back where I tried to get the glue off, but I'll sand all these anyway, so that's alright. I've got these panels here to do around the outside and then this middle bit here that's going to be very 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 fiddly right I do have one plan for mounting this uh, where is it here we go cut this out I didn't have this to hand to match it so it's a bit loose but I thought even if I did it's going to be quite fiddly oh message it's going to be quite fiddly to get the gear to lock onto these teeth and have enough bites and everything else I don't, I don't think I'll have enough glue to um enough room to glue it because it's very very close to these other bits of plastic so what I'm going to do is take this apart completely take the middle bearing out the one that's got this the teeth on it that one that's turning there and make a new sort of washer to go in that I'll make that out of some sheet aluminium which I brought back from, from the centre today and that go in there like that uh, actually this way around and I'll have bits coming out like a spider and it'll glue onto this outside bit here and that'll be a lot better so this is the aluminium sheet I've got I think it's aluminium it's pretty heavy but then there is a lot of it it's my old electronic sign that was torn down and I've got to keep that as scrap so that's something so I'll cut out a spider. It will look like a, a bit like this, you know, the three bits coming off of it, and have a ring because it's quite smooth. So it'll work well with this, and it's the same thickness. Yep. So that probably be the next job. I mean, I'll, I'll try and cut some more of these. Let's see how all these mesh. 
if I could do at least these tonight. And I can call it done until next time. And then we'll start with other bits and pieces. Ta-da! Finished cutting those teeth out. Took quite a bit, but I've got it pretty accurate. But now if we've got the back of it where the paper isn't. That empty bag. Now let's get the paper off. A lot of people just scrape this off. Some people sand it off. Some people use a heat gun and then scrape it off. I'm just going to wet the paper. Like that. Just... I'm wetting the paper underneath here as well, but eh, whatever. I'll change it tomorrow. And then when it soaks, you just peel it off because I use a glue stick. And what the well, the glue stick is water soluble, so what the water does is just re-soften the glue. It's like it causes the glue to unset, if you like, and you can just peel this off like this in big lumps. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you can get it off in one big piece, but if you've got quite a bit of detail in the part, there you go. That works okay. It jams in a few places. I mean, this one, this tooth needs sanding down a bit. And if I go around a bit more, it sticks in like there. That one needs sanding. That one needs sanding because I've got a little bit stuck out there, and I can see that. I think for a lot of these, it's the tops of the teeth that need sanding off. Yeah. But that works really well. Please do that. Not super, super well, but as I say, this is just fresh out of the. Um, that's, that's, that's actually better like that. And that's how it's going to run anyway. So, that's a thing. I suppose because it's a big gear trying to drive a pinion, it's a bit more difficult than a pinion trying to drive a big gear. That's actually very smooth. I'll find you in the gears anyway, so proper, proper, proper smooth. But yeah, please with that. Fantastic. Bit of sanding and filing, and they're almost perfect. So now I've got the big wheel driving the pinion. That mess is probably, in actuality, it'll be the pinion driving everything else, and that still works properly when they're actually in the clock and set and everything else I'll adjust them some more but they work really well bit of extra fun I'll put my pin vice in it it works good fantastic of course it's never going to spin that fast if it can spin it fast and still mesh properly then that's a good thing and driving the pinion to drive a big wheel just for a laugh just because we can and that works too you can follow the black bit of tooth on there I don't know what it is is it mark in the wood just watch it go round and round and round so that all works excellent <laughs> excellent Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. I really want to keep on making this and plugging for it because I've just gone into the swing of it now. I've, I've done even more on the um, the great wheel. I want to draw up the framework to hold all the cogs, cogs together so I can put it in the big frame when I get that. But I need to edit this and upload it and everything else and get it all ready. So I'm going to end it here and I'll see you all next Tuesday we'll also have more stuff made and things meshing and moving around and should be pretty awesome so stick around and I'll see you next Tuesday don't forget to like comment subscribe and have a great week